this smells definitely human. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this, this is awful. If somebody thought this was a video about testing SSDs for a camera, they wouldn't believe it. This is just too stupid. Oh. All right, guys, so today we're going to be doing an SSD speed test for the Kronos 2.1 HD. We got a lot of uh, got a lot of SSDs to test from generic ones that come in Chinese writing, uh, other generic ones that are made in America, modern ones, laptop ones, uh, used, new, and M.2s. That was a pretty good <laughs> rhyme. We're just gonna see which one's the quickest when it comes to uh, saving your uh, DNG files and your H.264 files. So uh, let's get to it. Hey, we have a special guest. All right, it's now decided the cat's gonna be the feature film for the slow-mo. Do you think I can get him to purr in the mic, actually? Oh, come here, you big kitty. How are you doing? So we're gonna do the slow-mo test with this cat. It's been decided. Ow, ow. Oh, he's gonna, oh, he's gonna attack the beard, isn't he? The eye auto focus works on him. Really? Yeah, because uh, it works on cats and dogs. Okay, we're letting him go. Oh. He safely got away. Uh, for this test, we're gonna be using the Kronos 2.1 HD, the 16 gigabyte version, and we're gonna be doing at a thousand frames. Uh, I think that's all the information I have, and uh, let's get to it. All right, yeah, let's do a little, like, yeah, I should mention for the rest of this, this was just a gag to get the video started. I'm not going to wear that ever again. Wasn't that an interesting piece of slow-mo? So I should mention first, one thing I did test before doing the SSD test was cables. Now that might sound silly, but there are cheaper cables and more expensive cables. This one is uh, from Amazon. It was like 13 bucks. And this one, I don't know exactly where it came from, but it's a more high-end quality, shorter cable. And to be completely honest, this is something small that I just wanted to point out that you should actually not even be really focused on when it comes to saving your footage. Um, this one was faster by maybe like close to half a second. Yeah, not even a full second. So yes, using this is faster than this, but in the long run, when it comes to saving your footage, it's not going to save you very much time. There's something interesting that I actually found out during this. If you look at the results, something looks a little bit familiar maybe and also very surprising if you notice a lot of the times are very very close and some are beating others yes but literally probably by a matter of fractions of seconds to be completely honest yes i know my google graph that i did is not very appealing to look at but you know it's a graph so whatever but one of the interesting things i found out uh in doing this project is something like using a sandisk ultra versus an M.2 with a SATA adapter. Normally I would have bet money for this to be faster than this, being that it's an M.2, even though it's through a SATA adapter. But surprisingly, they were very close to the same, if not the same. Another thing surprising is something like the Sandus Ultra versus like an old Intel SSD from like 2013. You would think that, you know, something like this would clearly outperform something like this. But it didn't. It was, if anything, this outperformed it by maybe like a few seconds. So what's the point of this video though? What did we learn? We actually learned a few things. A few things I learned is when it comes to buying an SSD for your Kronos 2.1 or the Kronos 1.4 is you really don't need to shell out a bunch of money for the extra fast ultra version. You can just get something that's more, you know, default, like a Kingston. And the performance when it comes to saving your footage is practically identical. Yes, this did beat this by this, but one second in H.264 time and about two seconds in Cinema DNG time for a full RAM save is nothing really to go crazy about. And this is something actually to keep in mind. You could shell out a lot of money for like a Samsung like 870 Evo 4 terabyte or whatever. But you have to keep in mind that the performance factor might actually not really matter. Something else that I noticed is usually when it comes to the more off-brand the SSD is, 
the worse it performs, such as like the Psalm Bust or whatever and the AMT or whatever. Truth be told, it could just be something that they are definitely cheaper drives and they're off-brand. So that is something to keep out for. If you're going to buy a cheaper drive, get something quality like a Kingston that's usually more budget-friendly, even though it's not the fastest, and which we found out in this case, speed doesn't mean everything. The only weird thing that gave me confusion in this test was the Samsung M.2. Um, it performed the worst, and Samsung, as you know, is a very good brand. It was really weird to see it perform this bad, as I actually had highest hopes it would perform the best. And, you know, to be fair, this could just be something with that drive. It is used, and I figured that would have played a factor, but after putting it in an M.2 slot in my computer and it running fine and saying that everything's all good and go, it could just be a drive that doesn't like working in that format or something. Personally, I don't know. And something to think about, actually, when it comes to results of this is, yes, theoretically, this is faster than a Kingston. We know that. The SanDisk Ultra 2, it's got Ultra in the name, so we know it's faster than a Kingston... What is this? I don't even remember. We know that it's faster. But then, why did they perform literally identical? So actually something to look out for is when it comes to at the moment, if you own one of these Kronos cameras, you don't necessarily have to buy the highest fastest speed SSD. Yes, theoretically, when you plug in your computer and transfer data, it will likely, you'll get likely different results. If you have a computer in your house that has an M.2 or an older SSD, you have free storage essentially. Yes, you know, might only be like 120 gigabytes or whatever, but hey, you know, it doesn't hurt to have that extra storage just in case you need it. Now, am I saying go buy every used one you can and test it? No, don't do that. Theoretically, have a terabyte of storage, but uh, not in the way I would like it. So the only conclusion I have then, if these two drives are performing the same, even though theoretically on a computer they were performed different, is that it's the camera's hardware that is being the limiting factor and that it is not fast enough to run both of these at their, you know, right speeds essentially. That's gonna be it for this video. It was probably a bit shorter one, but let me know if you have an SST that performed really good or really bad. I'm actually curious in the results. Definitely around the next video though, I will be going over actually how to format these for the Cronus 2.1, the Cronus 1.4. I probably should have done the formatting of the SSD before this video, but eh, this one was more fun. So we'll get to that next time. See ya.